What's up, Maniacs? Nick here from the Mini Vlog. So to start this week, uh, we're gonna do a drive of the 2021 Countryman's. We got the John Cooper Works and the S over here, the new facelift, tons of fun. Let's take a quick drive in those, see how they are. This is the 2021 Countryman. It is beautiful interior inside, really nice premium quality materials everywhere. And it's a Countryman, so it's huge. Let's check it out. I got this seat and there's this seat. Plenty of room in the back in this seat. Plenty of room back here in the middle seat with two USB-C chargers. Future proof, very nice. Also this seat, plenty of room back here still. And the power lift rear gate, plenty of cargo space back here. So yeah, the 2021 Mini Countryman S, really nice. Uh, obviously the front uh, front fascia upgrade and some a few small tweaks here and there, but otherwise it's the same old Countryman you know and love, beautifully done. Interior is great. Let's go take it for a quick spin. So it's a Countryman. It's got plenty of space um, relative to minis. It's it's huge. Uh, you can haul, you can fit four adults in here, no problem, uh, with some room, quite a bit of room for uh, luggage in the back. So if you need a mini that needs a little bit more space, I think this is your guy. Got the new digital dash because it's got the navigation package and the heads up display. It's something I missed in the GP but I understand why it's not in the GP. But the heads-up display, recommend that in any model mini you get. It's, it's a really awesome feature to have. It gives you just enough information for what you need for navigation, uh, speed, speed limits, uh, cruise control, all that stuff. And uh, it's just a fun little piece of tech to have in the car. Now, obviously, it being a countryman, it's bigger, it's heavier. It feels like it's got a little bit more body roll, but not too bad. It's still a mini. So let's, uh, let's put this Cooper S in sport mode, shall we? It's fair. It's no John Cooper Works GP, but uh, it's a countryman. It's, it's still got a, a decent amount of power. I'd say the throttle doesn't kick up as quickly when you, uh, when you step on the accelerator, but again, different engine, um, and it's a countryman, so it's a little bit heavier, so. If you're wondering if the phone holder in the Countryman is any bigger, well, the armrest seems a little bit wider in terms of height though. Still don't think it's fitting the larger size phones that are pretty common these days. Nope. So perhaps Mini could uh, potentially move the charger down to the uh, front, front center console area where the cup holders are, maybe give you a little bit more room for uh, future phones that are probably only gonna get larger. But man, it, it everything in here is really nice, really premium. Uh, the dash looks great, clean, simple. Toggle switches still exist, so that's a plus for me. I love the toggle switches. So overall, I mean, a Countryman is a great car. I own one. Um, I, I will probably trade in my older one for a newer one at some point in my life. And uh, this is this has been a great uh, sneak peek at this 2021. Um, everything looks really great. Looks really nice. It's it's got improved uh, materials all throughout, and it sounds uh, much quieter um, if that's what you're after. So yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, 2021 Countryman new facelift new rear interior is great really great material high quality material everywhere um it's a it's getting up there to be a, a nice luxury car uh it's large enough to haul four four adults easily three kids no problem so yeah if you have any questions comments leave them down below as usual subscribe if you haven't already please it helps out so much and if you see another mini on the road don't forget to wave all right catch you in the next one Oh no, child safety locks.